What happens when your body's natural defenses are silently overthrown? This is bacterial vaginosis, a microbial rebellion hiding in plain sight. It's more common than you think, and more dangerous than you know. In a healthy vagina, lactobacillus keeps the peace. But in BV, these protectors vanish, ushering in opportunistic bacteria that throw the entire system into chaos. Gardnerella vaginalis builds biofilm armor and unleashes vaginolysin, a toxin that bursts open host cells. This biochemical sabotage weakens vaginal defenses and makes room for even more invaders. When oxygen is low, anaerobes flourish. These microbes, once dormant, now join forces with Gardnerella, deepening the infection and altering the vaginal ecosystem. Some women notice a fishy odor, others itching or burning, but many have no symptoms at all, silently living with an imbalance that may affect long-term health. Smoking, douching, multiple partners, recent antibiotics or an IUD can tip the balance. Even healthy habits can backfire if they disrupt the vaginal microbiome. Diagnosis relies on clinical signs and simple tools. Vaginal pH over 4.5 comma clue cells seen under the microscope. A fishy odor with the whiff test. If discharge is present, two out of three confirm the diagnosis. Metronidazole or clindamycin, taken orally or vaginally, can clear BV in seven days, safe in pregnancy and effective in up to 90% of cases. But that's just the beginning. Recurrence happens in up to 80% of women within nine months. Some don't respond at all. Others relapse repeatedly. Chronic BV is more than an infection. It's a relapsing condition tied to microbiome failure. New hope lies in probiotics, especially Lactobacillus crispatus. Studies show they help prevent recurrence when used after antibiotics. One study found that a probiotic powder cut BV recurrence in half over 24 weeks. We once thought there was just one Gardnerella species. Now we know there are at least 13, each with different behaviors and resistance. This diversity may explain why some women relapse and others don't. Normal vaginal pH ranges from 3.8 to 4.5. BV raises it above 4.5 comma, disrupting acidity and favoring harmful bacteria. Even semen, with a pH of 7.4 comma, can make things worse. Gardnerella creates biofilms, sticky webs that antibiotics struggle to penetrate. This structure protects the bacteria and invites others to move in. Biofilms are one reason BV becomes chronic and recurring. Pregnant with BV? The risks multiply, 2x risk of preterm labor, 3-5x risk of early miscarriage, higher risk of chorioamnionitis and endometritis. Should all pregnant women be screened for BV? The medical world is still debating, but treating symptomatic cases before 22 weeks can prevent complications. BV isn't just uncomfortable, it may impact fertility. Infertile women are 3x more likely to have BV. It lowers IVF success, causes early losses, and damages the fallopian tubes. Prevention starts with understanding your body. Avoid douching, use condoms, take probiotics after antibiotics, and quit smoking. Small changes can lead to long-term balance. Living with chronic BV can be isolating, but you're not alone. Support groups, ongoing care, and informed choices make a difference. It's a journey, but one you can walk with clarity and power. Researchers are exploring microbiome transplants, gene editing, and targeted antibiotics to treat BV. The future of care is personalized, precise, and promising. Bacterial vaginosis is more than an inconvenience. It's a microbial imbalance that affects millions of women. The more you understand, the more control you gain.